guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm just going to be doing a Sunday vlog. It is Sunday, July 5th, the day after 4th of July. And I'm just going to be bringing you along with our day and showing you guys what we are doing. So it is currently 8.51 a.m. We woke up a little bit earlier today because I have a ton of filming to do. On top of this video, I'm filming a cleaning video and a few other ones. Feels good waking up a little earlier. Yeah. I mean, as opposed to like, I wake up early every day, but. Yeah, he wakes up at like four o'clock every waking day. Waking up early and not going but to that's work. That's fine, yeah. Also, yesterday, Brendan got me some new plants and I'm so excited to show you them. So let me get to it. So the first plant I got is this aloe vera. Um, yeah, I just know that this is easier to take care of. And this thing was only $5.89 or $5.98 from Home Depot. We got all these from Home Depot, by the way. And it came with its own little pot. Okay, this one, I feel like it's my favorite. So, I don't know if it showed you yet. This is a trailing elephant bush. Look how cute. Do you see this? It looks like a fake plant. It's real though. And this one, I'm gonna show you this way. This one is a... Uh, I think it's a snake plant. Can you hold the camera? Okay, here is, what is this one? A Sanservia? I don't know, I think it's a snake plant. But look at this pot of pan, pan, pot, wow. Pot. It's cement, isn't it pretty? This one was only like $16.89 for this nice pot too. Look how pretty. Yeah, What's her nice. name? Uh, I think this is a boy. It's a boy? Yeah. His name is Sam. Sam? Sam the snake plant. No, I think his name is Steve. Steve? Yeah. I don't like Steve. Okay, fine. Sam. <laughs> okay, go outside. You hold. I think I'm gonna hold this. Keep going outside. Come on, cool. Okay. So go over that one. So we first have these flowers. Are you showing them? Yeah. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. Oh, they're already dying. They might have already just been like that. But, yeah, they're pretty. So, we got three of them and they were like, what, $4 each or $2, Two each? each? Yeah. Yeah. And then, I have another steak plant. I don't know if they're supposed to be outside, but this one has new growth. So I could like take it out. This one was from Walmart. This one was nine and ninety-six. Oh, what's his name? What a beautiful day. What's his name? Yeah. He could be Steve. That one could be Sam. Okay. That one's Steve. That's all of our plants, but I want more. You want more? Yeah. <laughs> she wants more plants. We might go back to Home Depot. Yeah, we're probably gonna go back to Home Depot. Get more, more plants. Depot. Get more plants. Okay, now my glasses are dark, but I want to apologize and say that there's probably gonna be a lot of talk about plants. So if you guys don't like that, I'm really sorry, but I will try not to talk about it too much, but I really have been enjoying plants recently, so. I need to get ready soon, and I also need breakfast. I really want a bagel, but like, I don't have bagels. So should we go to that bagel place that we went to that had gluten-free? It was near Aldi, like the other Aldi. Let's figure it out. I'll update you guys. So we are outside of the bagel shop right now. If you live in San Diego, it's Golden Bagels Cafe. And yeah, they have a gluten-free bagel. So that's why we come here. But we've only ever been here once before. So hopefully they actually still have the gluten-free bagel. I sit in the car with Cooper because obviously he can't go inside. And we don't feel right leaving a dog in the car. So we might run to Home Depot after this because I'm pretty positive dogs can go in. So figured why not do that and just kill two birds with one stone today. And just go out while we're already out and stay out and then just go home and do everything that we need to do inside. So, yeah. I don't know why I keep looking for Brendan because he just went in and they have to like make the bagels. So it's going to take a while. Big moles. Hello. Hi. Wait, let me finish what I was saying. Brendan's back, but I, today I'm filming three videos on top of this one, so four. Today I'm filming a bullet 
now what's it called? A bulletin board thing? Vision board? Yeah. I'm gonna be filming a vision board video, a DIY one for like manifesting things, and then a cleaning video, which will go up on the 7th or 8th, whatever Tuesday is, the first Tuesday in July. I hope that's yours. How, how would I know? Oh, it has cream cheese. You got some butter, right? Yeah. Look at my bagel. What'd you get? So, he gets butter on his bagel. Yeah, but Settle this debate. Cinnamon. No. Settle this debate. Cream cheese or butter on your bagel? Okay, we just got back from Home Depot and I wanted to show you guys what we got. So the first thing we got from Home Depot is plant food. This is the miracle Grow all-purpose plant food. Feed every seven to 14 days and you mix with water. So yeah, we got this just to keep our plants happy, I guess. And then we got this, which we're gonna hang up in a little bit, or I guess like soon, probably like right after this. Yeah. But um, how does it go? Oh, this way. It's a plant holder, but yeah, we're gonna hang it outside to hang my elephant plant. And yeah, and then I also got this pothos. I've been wanting a pothos so bad, just because I've read that they're really good to take care of and easy. So I got this one. I don't know if it has to be outside, but we'll see. I'll read up on that. And then I got this bamboo and it is lucky bamboo. I have to refill it because a lot of water fell out, but that's okay. Isn't it so pretty? I think so. And then I got the best plant ever. Okay. I'm just gonna turn the camera around and then you guys can see it. Look at this plant. Is she not gorgeous? Look at her leaves. Look at them. This one's like my favorite one. It's so dark, sorry. Look at this leaf. What is this, a Monstera? Yeah, Monstera or Swiss plant. And then there's the bottom thing we got. That was only $9 at Home Depot. I definitely recommend checking because literally within five seconds of taking it out of the car, this dog peed on it. So, yeah, but. But I was gonna get a mini one of these, but I've been wanting a plant to put here that will like tie in this area. So I got the bigger one. The mini one was only 14. This one was 34, which kind of is a lot, but that's okay. Okay, scratch that plan. This thing would not screw in, so that's okay. The outside has a metal wall behind the like, what is it, drywall? I don't know what it is, cement, whatever, so. It's not gonna work, but that's okay. We'll figure out something else. Okay, so I have this pot for this pythos. Let's see if it fits. It fits. I'm just gonna leave it in its nursery thing because I don't really know how to depot plants. So, depot plants, wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna put this outside though. It is a mess. Good thing I'm filming a cleaning video after this. But no, it is hot, hot. It can stay inside. Okay. This is my pythos. I really hate that these people play music all day. I really hope I don't get copyrighted from this video. That would be annoying for music that I don't even like. I think this is where I'm gonna leave that plant. I think this is where I'm gonna leave that plant. There, that one's a fake plant. I need to replace it. But, but I really need to stop buying plants because we spent a lot of money on plants this weekend, so. That'll be a different week. Probably next month, actually. Okay, we are going to relax a little bit before I have to film because it is hot and I 
needs like a little break for some reason. Not for some reason, but you know. And I also need to take some photos of my plants for my Instagram, so. Busy day. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. No, stop. This is how we vlog now. Stop. Take it serious. Serious, you do not take me. This is how I vlog. Stop. Just stop. Do better, be better. Better. This is not better. All right, we're back. We forgot about the vlog. I did not, he did. Yeah, I did. We uh, used the same card to film Kelly's other video. Yeah, because he brought a lot of vlogs. But we came prepared because we knew that today would be a pretty busy day and didn't want to just leave the vlog at random things. I originally wanted this to be an entire different video, but never really had an opportunity to film it. And that is the things we learned in our first year of marriage. We have been married over a year now. We actually got married May 24th, 2019, which is crazy because I've been dealing with him for over a year. Don't know how. I'm the best. <laughs> but in the first year of marriage, we learned a lot of different things and I can't remember which ones were yours and which ones were mine, but we wrote this out on May 22nd. I'm not sure if I've already said that, but um, which seems crazy because that was um, like um, over a month ago now, which I don't know, time flies when you're in quarantine. But yeah, we're gonna talk to you guys about what we learned in case you guys are newlyweds or are getting married just to know what to expect. So the first thing that we learned is that it's okay to argue. I feel like when we were just dating, mind you, we had only dated for a year and a half before getting married, which is a little insane. And I feel yeah. like a lot of people think that that's crazy, but you know, it's fine. But before we didn't really argue that much. And we were also in a long distance relationship and because Brendan's in the military and he was also deployed for six months. So we kind of had a very good realm of communication so when we moved in together i feel like we would just argue about the stupidest things and like we still constantly argue about the stupidest things like they're never even things that are like super important no they're not i don't even like i can't remember the last time we had an argument about anything that was actually important but it's definitely okay to have that argument and like talk through it Instead of just ignoring it and like pushing everything yeah, to, to the side. Yeah, definitely talk through it. But the, uh, it's okay to argue reminds me of one of the episodes of The Office we just watched where Jim and Pam are like going through their thing and like Jim wants to just go to Philly and uh, instead of, it was Valentine's Day or something and yeah. then Pam says, I think you should stay, I think we should argue. And I think we should fight. I think that... Like, I feel like arguing is, like, a sense of, like, fighting for your relationship. Yeah, it is. And, like, if you just, like, leave everything be and, like, just ignore everything, it's going to eventually become a bigger thing. And, yeah, I feel like argue. it's okay to argue with anybody about anything. Just remember to communicate about it. The next thing that we learned was taking time to learn each other's interests. I don't know. Like, I, so... Kelly's interest mainly right now is like YouTube and stuff and has been for most of her time and I've always watched YouTube videos and that's all fine and dandy but it's different being on this side of it so it's, <clears throat> it's a learning process. Yeah, like literally like 10 minutes ago we had an argument about Brendan not being able to take a photo of me which was dumb. But, like, Brendan also needs to learn how to shake those things. Because, like, I need him his help. But also, like, for me, like, I want to learn more about, like... I don't really, like, I don't want to say that I don't care about your video games. But, like, I don't really care to learn about them. Like, That's okay. You don't need to. Like, it's like, I'm like, yeah, you can play video games. But the one thing that Brendan's really interested in is, what is it called? EDC. Yeah. Everyday Carry. And he watches a ton of videos on that. And, like, I kind of find them a little bit interesting, but, <laughs> like, I I just, am I, I feel like I'm not the only person that doesn't care about what they're carrying. No, uh, it's just interesting to me, because, like, everybody, everybody has an EDC, whether they, yeah. they don't call it that or not, but people carry around the same stuff, like, every day. Like, I carry my phone and, like, my wallet. Yeah, and, like, those are, like, the basic things, and then there's, like, other stuff that, like, 
your keys and how you have your keys organized and like take time to learn the other person's interests and i feel like that comes with marriage like i feel like yeah. every other thing like it's like yeah like both of us were interested in the same things before marriage but like living with each other i guess it really is just living with each other but from like i guess my beliefs like i never wanted to live with brendan or like whoever i was gonna marry until i married them so and then the next thing we learned is that we don't have to spend every second together which was so hard for me to learn and it's like i still struggle with it a lot i feel like it's because i still have this mindset of like well like what if i don't see you tomorrow or something like it's like before when we were long distance every time we had together we like were inseparable and then right. like now it's like well every sixth day you have duty and then now it's like you're going under ways more and like sometimes i'm just like well like i don't want you to go play video games because like i want to spend time together so it's like you don't have to spend all that time together because you have literally the rest of your lives together just like remember that even if you are in a relationship or you're married to spend some time with yourself and doing the things that you love like i feel like that's why i picked up youtube again or i like wanted to be like doing youtube again like last year because i needed something that made me myself and not just a wife or okay. not just a wife i guess not just somebody else's person just like my own person the next thing that we learned is how to make a budget which sort we of. don't always stick to I feel like that's everybody that makes a budget yeah, I mean, we're, we're still, not Dan, dave ramsey over here no we're still trying to figure that all out because like there's always a bigger bigger goal in sight and like it's like this one little thing you want today like if you don't buy that today you're only just like saving money up for like a house or like yeah a new car or something like well our big thing right now is saving for a house so yeah. that's obviously something that we're taking very seriously because that's a big thing like getting a house but like that's really what we mean by budgeting i guess more saving 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 hmm. yeah okay saving. just more like saving and also like like we like to budget in like fun things like i'm sure i haven't created july's budget which is crazy because it's literally the fifth almost the sixth but like i'll put my plants into my category or something so it's like that's okay like that will fit into our budget we just won't spend as much other money on other things and it's also my birth month so my plants are my birthday gifts yeah definitely get a lot more this month but that's just we learned how to budget and how not to spend every dime just because we have it that we learned is it doesn't matter where you are such what you have all that matters that we have or that we are together i think that also just goes with the last one like like we yeah, right now are so far away from home or at least what we consider home like your family but like this also feels like home i feel like it's just like the togetherness like it's like whenever you're not here i feel like a fly on the wall of like my life and then whenever you're here it's like oh my my home's here so it's yeah. like no matter where we are we're together and that's all that matters and that we have each other and we're growing with each other i mean like yeah no matter where we go or where we where we end up in life as long as we have each other we'll make a home and cooper and cooper he's a good boy and then the last thing well we learned a lot of other things but these are the top six is it's okay to not like the same things this yeah. kind of goes along with well we already talked about like how like the edc and stuff like that and just yeah like just because kelly doesn't doesn't like video games that i play video games like doesn't mean like i'm not supposed to play video games yeah it's like i don't know i just we just don't have to like the exact same things in order for like us to work yeah, and, like, she's got all her, like, makeup and, like... I'm not really that into makeup, though. Not anymore. I mean, she used to be a lot. And then now these plants, it's, like, cool. Like, I like plants. They're cool. But, like, I'm not gonna, like, know every 
name or species of the plant and like we have like nicknames for them i'm not gonna remember to like water them every day but i'll remind her like hey did you water your plants recently yeah i mean that's why we got the water thing yeah yeah we ordered i know this is the same vlog so i could talk about it i got this like pick uh is that what it'd be called a temp a thermometer thing yeah, a thermometer that thing. says like how wet and yeah it tells you when you should water it pretty much yeah so you can put that in just to see if you need to water it or not yeah because good. I don't want to kill my plants. Like, okay, so I think that that is going to wrap up this vlog. And also, just this little chit-chat of what we learned in our first year of marriage. Yeah, I think we gotta find something to eat. I know it's only, it's 9 o'clock. I don't know what we're gonna eat. What we're gonna eat. Probably something small. If you guys have any questions that you have for us, please feel free to leave them down below. And also... If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. It's Kellyanne underscore Hastings. I'll put it right there. But yeah, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.